women? It is deep because fear is one of those things that it will keep a person stagnant in life, particularly in relationships. And men fear. A lot of men fear commitment. But the question is, why is that? Well, there's a number of things. Number one, men realize that there's a possibility that there will be no more freedom. See, men are independent by nature. You know, we're men who make our own decisions. We do things our own way. But once you get into a commitment of marriage, now you have to consider another person. You have to take certain ideas and share them with your mate before you can just go ahead and do it. So they fear what? the loss of freedom. Number two, they fear the loss of space. You know, men have uh, are very territorial, and that's why a lot of men, once they get married, they have to have their own office or, you know, what they call their man cave, their own space where they can just be themselves. And they fear that once they get married or get into a committed relationship, women have a tendency to just take over. You know, they, they want to bring in new colors and new drapes and new paints and new furniture, and it's done their particular way. Uh, one of the things that men fear is the, the reality of having just one sexual partner for the rest of your life. Men are taught that variety is the spice of life. And so now if I have to commit to one person, I'm giving up my freedom to be with several women. So if I can't find variety in many women, then I've got to figure out a way to find variety within my one woman. And they don't think that they can do that. Uh, the list goes on and on. We can talk about the fact that many men fear, you know, they've been hurt before. Maybe they've been divorced before and don't want to go through it again. Maybe they went through a very bad relationship and fear going through the same type of scenario that will end in a negative result. So that keeps them from wanting to get married. A lot of men fear the baggage that women bring into relationships because if they've been hurt in their past, they'll transfer that hurt into their present relationship and it'll negatively affect their marriage. So there's a goo gob list of reasons that men are really fearful about diving in head first and saying, I do. For some men who may not be as financially secure as they may want to be, they know that their primary function and role as a husband is to be the main provider. And if I can't provide for myself, how can I enter into a relationship where I'm expected to not only provide for my wife, but to provide for my children? So the house is my responsibility. The maintenance of the cars is my responsibility. The household expenses are my responsibility. The vacation every time we go out to eat, the clothing, everything becomes my responsibility. And if I can't do it for me, how can I ever do it for someone else? So one of the ways to get a commit one of the ways to get a commitment phobic man to not be so commitment phobic and to get him to enter into a relationship is to prove the independence that you have as a woman. What do I mean by that? Presenting yourself as not being needy so that therefore the man has to be the one that solves all your problems or comes to your aid for every single thing. And I think that a lot of men have a fear that he's always going to be relied or need to be relied upon by that woman to solve every single problem. And most problems are attached to some type of finance. And so if he can't do that, then he can't do it for himself. He certainly can't do it for you. And so in situations where a woman is making more money, that, that issue may not be as great, but it's still a major issue because men very identity is wrapped up in number one his sexuality and number two his finances it speaks to who he is as a man it, it really is and that's why we have to have proper working operational definitions of what we mean by independence what we mean by self-sufficiency what we mean by codependence or interdependence i think at the end of the day every couple should strive to be interdependent where we rely and depend on one another and so if there are certain strengths that you bring to the table then i as a man have got to flow with that if there's certain strengths that i bring to the table you as a woman have got to flow with that in order for the relationship to really work one of the reasons why men avoid marriage is because they want to avoid divorce. And divorce for many men equals a legal, I'm sorry, marriage is considered a legal business contract with a whole lot of risks involved. And one of the risks is divorce. And that whole notion, if I get divorced, she takes half, half of all my money, half of all my assets. So all that I've done all my life to work up to the things that I've obtained can be taken away with the stroke of a pen due to divorce. And what's fearful for many men is that the fact is most women, 
women, and I've said this before, are the ones who initiate the marriage. They initiate the idea. They propose the idea of marriage. But they statistically are the first ones to initiate divorce. I just read a statistic tonight that says that 70 to 97% of all marriages uh, and, and uh, end in divorce by the initiation of that woman. And so there's a lot that men have to be worried about or concerned about concerning their finances and their assets because odds are against you that the marriage will work. Generally, men don't talk about or promote good, successful marriages. When you think about it, the only concept that a man has of marriage is negative. You know, we usually talk about what's going wrong in our relationship, how we want our relationship to be better, as opposed to bragging about how wonderful our spouse is, how wonderful our relationship is. And so if men could see no visible example or hear no audible example of how wonderful marriage can actually be for a man, there's no concept that it could ever be good. So why should I enter into a contractual agreement that will just turn sour. We talked about last week every image you see, every movie you see, every television show you see, every conversation you have is negative as it relates to marriage and commitment. So why do it? And that's men's perspective on that t- particular situation. But there's many things that women can do. Number one, we already mentioned it, showing him that you have some sense of independence meaning that men are weary of women who sit back and wait for their men to fulfill every single aspect of their lives. You know, another thing that can be done, you have to show that man that you are a kind and loving person. That means a whole lot to a man. I was just watching a movie the other day, and it was a relationship between a man and a woman, and the man actually ended the relationship because he said, you know what? I'm through fighting. I no longer want to fight. I didn't get into this relationship to battle with you. And so in essence, a lot of men are looking for a sweet and gentle spirit in their woman. And if that's exhibited, that's a great sign for that woman that that man may possibly commit. Um, A lot of men don't like women who play games in order to get him to pursue her. For instance, some women may flirt with another man just to get the attention of their man to get him to make a deeper commitment to her. It doesn't work. So the whole game playing has got to be over. In my book, Black Eyes, Black Eyes, and Bedroom Lies, the first chapter is entitled The Game. And we talk about the games that men play and the games that women play that ultimately destroy our relationships. And there's a whole lot of game playing going on to snag a man up. But but going further, you know, always maintaining your femininity uh, with a special emphasis on physical appearance. Once again, physical attractiveness is very, very critical to a man uh, in terms of who he's going to choose as a potential mate. And so you want to make sure that you maintain that. And another thing, the one thing that really turns men off are women who rush a man into commitment. So don't rush or appear to rush the relationship. Have a, you know what, have an easy-flowing type of mentality. One thing I can say about my wife is that she did not rush me into marriage. She did not rush the relationship. And it was peculiar to me because I was just like, well, why isn't she approaching me like that? There's been so many other women in my travels that did that, but she was peculiar. She was the one who didn't. That created such a desire in me to pursue her. And so if you want a man to commit, back up. Let him pursue you. Stop trying to pursue the man.